All right, guys, welcome back to another video. We're out here at my home spot filming a tutorial. The tutorial you saw in the last video, foil jiving, make sure to check it out. And I had an amazing time in Portugal. I didn't. Next time she'll come, right? Hopefully. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed that footage. Whoa, what is going on? <laughs> Can't believe they're making advertising by plane for a German rapper that you actually like. I think he's super talented. I really like him. Well, anyway, at my home spot, Brazilian, which is uh, kind of like cold Brazil, I would say. <laughs> and um, we are running a foil camp here, which you're going to see later on. And then also make sure to stay tuned till the end of the video because some very exciting news dropping. And right now we're just going to film the tutorial. Thank you for helping me film. Always. She's always helping me when oil is not around. And then, yeah, we'll see what's going on later with the camp. So I'm just uh, showing the guys a little bit uh, some stuff about fins, explaining the difference between carbon fins and glass fins while the others are out on the water foiling. I think that's uh, one of the most interesting topics for you guys as well. But unfortunately, it's only these guys that are learning all the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> came all the way from Poland. Poland. Yes. How's it going for you so far? Uh, very good. Thanks to you, corrected some, some of the mistakes with the stance. So I feel much more comfortable now. Perfect. I'm knackered today, so I'm glad that it's actually my <laughs> win today. Moin! Moin! We got the Germans here, we got somebody from Poland, we got some Dutch people all over the place, but obviously we got some Germans. But I think I have to do a camp somewhere else, maybe in the future. Yes. How's it going for you so far? Really good, so I learned a lot. Good. Yes. That's the most important. We got Theo here, who came all the way from Austria. And now you're warming up for your session? Yeah, 9-0. Foiling, second time. Trying the new Pride Evos. Yeah. How does it feel? Very good. Usually Perfect. I'm on Duotone, but new Pride does also a good job, so. <laughs> Hey Theo, you made the vlog with that catapult. Yeah, did I? <laughs> <laughs> I was okay, but I lost control. Wing came out. And you you weren't planning in like seven knots, 65 kilos? No, no, no. Yeah, the gas was full power, but in the holes it was a bit too less. Okay, so we are here with camp member Albert. Albert is not only a pretty good windsurfer. Is this how you're going sailing? Yeah, yeah, that's normal. But it's matching the board color. Yeah, that's true. I do it by purpose, yeah. He also has a super amazing car and I wanted to show that to you guys. It's a Volkswagen T2, super retro. But there's something really special about this. So how fast do you go with this on the freeway? Yeah, you can 200 with it, no problem. He goes up to 200 kilometers per hour with this. It's going, it's going. What kind of engine is in there? There is a, actually a Subaru VRX engine in there, which is actually a two liter turbocharged boxer engine. <laughs> and it has a 300 brake horsepower. So uh, yeah, that will be easily uh, getting to 200. Just imagine the situation, you're driving on a German freeway going 180 in your Mercedes or whatever and this thing just passes by you with 200 kilometers per hour. Quite a lot actually, <laughs> definitely on uh, the traffic lights. It's really easy to get new cars. <laughs> 
uh, yeah. easier. That's sick. And how's the inside? Did you yeah. make it really nice? The inside is more like a lot of gear in there. Uh, because I think you could have uh -huh. all your slalom gear in there. So it's mainly gear storage? Uh, for us not right now it is. Yeah, and it's a uh, pretty good gear, I have to say. <laughs> the near fried stuff. No, if I have it in camping mode, then I have uh, I can screw in a kitchen. Yeah. And uh, this is your bed, actually. It's actually pretty good. Okay. It had some heater in there, so it's uh, it's also heated. I'm rising up now. No, I won't back down. Taking my shot now. Make you my background. I'm rising up now. You were saying the original engine is not as efficient as this one, right? No. What's the mileage on the freeway on the long distance? Uh, one of ten. So if for you guys it's ten of hundred. Ah, so ten liters on hundred kilometers. Yeah, yeah. Diesel. Ben, petrol. Ah, okay. Yeah. Thirty one. So you got the electronics here as well? Yeah, yeah. So you can see here actually what's the, the throttle position. Uh, also the air temperature and the water temperature. It's pretty cold right now. And here you can see how many, what's the injection time, how many it's correcting it right by lambda control, uh, the boost right now, and the ignition advantage uh, angle. So now the question, what made you build this thing? Why did, why did you go to yeah. this extent? Actually, it was a kind of challenge uh, also, but also we use it quite a lot. It's not, for us, it's like not like an old timer. We use it every day so for windsurfing. Okay. So, right. um, so it's your everyday car? No, 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 it isn't. No, no. Okay, okay. It's if, but now we can use it to go out to our work and have after work uh, surf sessions. And normally you can do it with uh, the old timer. Ah, yeah, of course. So you wanted the you wanted the cool style factor with the solid engine. Yeah, actually, I have it from my. Uh, I have it already uh, twenty years. Oh, okay. The bus. So okay. I was eighteen, and it was my first surf bus. So, All right. Uh, yeah. Cool. I married even in it, so... <laughs> you married in this car. Uh, thanks for showing uh, around this car. And I'm sure lots of you guys like this kind of car, because this is like an original windsurfer's car. Yeah, I think half Holland knows this car. Actually. Half of Holland knows it? Yeah. Okay, let me know in the comments if you know this car and if you know this guy. Um, curious how many of you guys will know it. So yeah, thanks for showing. No problem. Okay, back at home and actually when the camera was off I asked him if he could build an electric engine into my car and he said he could. Crazy dude. Um, as you guys know my, uh, my van is broken and I'm kind of more into electric vehicles anyway so I think that could be interesting. But I promised you guys that there are going to be some very exciting news. First of all, who's behind the camera? <laughs> <laughs> it's all behind the camera. He's helping us out with something. Like I said, exciting news. We have a package here. And I'm going to tell you guys more about it. So let's open this up. All right. I don't think you know how excited I am. And here it is. Oh, that is so nice. Nice. So <laughs> to give you guys some context, this is for you. Super nice. One for you too. Oh my God. To give you guys some context. Can I, I unpack it? I am launching a brand and these are the final products and we're seeing them for the first time. Feels really, really nice. good. Right. It's um, it's amazing to see because in the last, <laughs> come on, wear it. Okay. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this. Um, yeah, this brand Sula, my new brand that I'm launching this uh, Sunday when this video comes out this Sunday. So in just a couple of days, the website is going online. Sorry, um, on Sula.eu, and uh, these are um, hoodies made of towel material, towel fabric. I had a couple of prototypes already after my really, session really good. and I've kind of been hiding it from you guys and it's just it's, it's just the best thing nice. you can wear after a session. Super yeah. nice. This is really cool actually because you know how you want to dry your hair after like you come back from your session? Yeah. So like you can just put the hoodie on and just go like this. Like I said, I tried that already a couple of times <laughs> yeah. after my sessions and it's just Feels it was so good. It was hard for me to hide it from you guys. And it's so amazing to see this in person. This is actually not a clothing brand. These, these are more like innovative products because I, in my opinion, there are already way too many clothing brands out there. And it's good, right? Sola is more about 
yeah finding innovative ways of uh, functional ways of clothing so it's not so much about the brand it's more about the product there are already many more ideas in my head mm -hmm. where i want to take this and not to forget to mention we really just made a few pieces of these it's yeah quite limited if you will because it was really just about uh, making uh, creating this product which uh, i had the idea in my head and we just wanted to execute it so yeah we just made a few of them but you can still get one for yourself if you want to from sunday on it's going to be online like i said the idea is bringing innovative products that look cool and most importantly to keep our footprint on uh, on earth really low so couple of features about this product it took me really long to create this and find all the suppliers and everything that was important to me such as uh, these are obviously handmade in turkey and from 100% organic cotton uh, turkey obviously alara is from turkey so um, yeah we wanted to produce in a country that we have a connection to we love going to turkey 100% organic cotton um, also you're gonna get this in recycled packaging so um, the, the wrap around it is uh, recycled plastic. The um, packaging is from recycled materials. And we want to push this much further. We want to take the sustainability much further with this. Already several ideas. Also for every second hoodie that we sell, we're gonna plant one mangrove, um, which I think is super cool. And also we have a plastic collecting program coming up. So a certain percentage of the income from, from these hoodies are gonna go into a program that we're gonna collect plastic from the beaches, keep our beaches plastic free, which I think is really important. Yeah. Super cool tags also. If you wanna find out more about these features, make sure to check out the website solar.eu. It's gonna be live from this Sunday on, but you can sign up for the newsletter obviously if you want. You will find out more on that homepage once it's online and we got several cool features. For example, there are no tags on the inside. So there's nothing that scratches you on the, on the skin. We have the super nice big solar wave 3D printed on the hood. We got the daylight limited edition, which is this one. And this one, which is the solar sunset. And this is coming to you really, really soon if you want to. Yeah, for me, it's the best feeling after a session. I'm so looking forward that I can finally wear it even when I'm on camera after my session. Um, yeah, it's just incredible for me. I'm really proud of it. Looking forward to, for you guys to have this in your hand. Looking forward to, uh, for Ole to try one on, maybe. Oh How are we gonna Hello, try? Ole. Hola. Hola. <laughs> He's back. How about one for Cooper? Oh, do you want one? <laughs> yeah, for sure. The black one is also the filmmaker's edition. Sick. It looks oh super my gosh. Nice. Oh. It's good? Yeah. It's good, eh? Nice. Covered Beautiful. up from the cold wind when I'm filming. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Or after surfing because you're going to go surfing. More. <laughs> <laughs> it's Arifa, yeah. Super low. We're twinning now. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Looking good. Oh, it feels so thing. soft. And yeah. these are unisex, actually. Yeah, so this is an SM. Yeah. And then we got the LXL. Girls yeah. are obviously gonna wear SM. Boyfriend style, yeah. yeah. But you're gonna find all the information on the on the website, on the sizing and everything. Coming to you really, really soon. So now we're all wearing one. <laughs> Coming to you really, really soon. Um, like I said, on Sunday, 6 o'clock in the evening German time, uh, the website is going online. And what I forgot to mention, it's super limited production so um <clears throat> i didn't want to overblow this so it's very very limited um yeah make sure to check it out on the website um if you like it make sure to get yourself one um but yeah it, how can you not like this after a session if you're a water sports athlete i really have to say it's uh I didn't expect it to feel this like, nice like I, imagine you just put this on and then you sit in your car you drive back home super cozy thanks for selling this for me here no, but <laughs> make sure to tune in on sunday for the next video and yeah we're gonna go and shoot a couple of things with these and i would say i see you in the next video on sunday bye bye, bye.